What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Pirates. And in this episode we are just making sure that we uh, capture this fifth rate without losing any of our own ships. There's a small Mughal invasion force aboard um, but we do not want them to get a foothold on the continent. And it's very very promising that they've been sending so small a fleet to accomplish that aim. So I'm not anticipating major issues because it's only one fifth rate. Um, yeah, I am going to almost immediately chop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens because it's going to take us ages to close the distance. So see you in a second everyone. And we're back. So let's begin sailing our ships into a broadly suitable position to con to engage fifth rate the Kos Haji and right now we've got the Pearl that's our uh, you're gonna have to fire early because you're sailing she is sailing out of position so all of these ships get more over here You begin to attack. Yeah, the Pearl is not liking these odds. I mean, fundamentally, the ship is... She is a bigger, faster ship. So we're going to cut across her stern with chain shot instead. it would appear she has considered that maneuver and you're actually going to prepare your starboard battery of which you fired some already or port batteries I should say and then Ranger is going to start firing canister shot into her from head on. Let's see if you can knock out one of her masts. A couple of hits. Not enough though. She is unhappy about what's going on. Come on. Load the rest of your guns, lads. Could try and take her. We're equal man to man. Okay, flying dragon. Get ready to form. To fire a chain shot into her mast from head on. Yeah, Galleon did not like that engagement one bit. But there we go. She's not been lost. On the contrary, the enemy ship has surrendered as they lose the foremost. Bizarre. And all of our ships that were reinforcing have uh, fortunately not had to engage. They've been able to flee. But yeah, The only reason I did this is because just to make sure we don't lose any ships in frustrating ways. So the new ships go back to Barbados. Ooh, officially maxed out. Ready so you can take orders. two floats. Ships to oh, I see. Cause it's because they've got a garrison. They've got a uh, sloop in there already. Or a brig. There we go. So you men can replenish. These ships are already replenishing. Then once we go back to raiding, and we could go capture that fifth rate, but let's not go crazy. Because right now we're pushing towards Mexico next turn. We've also got our raiding fleets to the north. You get up to St. John's. Let's upgrade the governor's, the pirate governor's mansion up here in Barbados. Still got some recruitment on the go because I want to hop over 
to Europe and take Iceland and use that as a base of operations to land and take Dublin. Ideally, Belfast would be developed because then I could put a ship into Belfast and maintain coverage over uh, this crossing here in the Irish Sea. But, you know, can't have everything, can we? In terms of tech, still going on for spinning wheel to try and boost our um, economy. But there's nothing immediately to do. And our balance sheet looks pretty healthy because we're up for about 10,000. 10,000 per turn, which is really nice. It's attacking Britain, though, is quite... It's, very, it's, it's really important, to be honest, because we need to make sure we get that naval technology and unless i to be honest I'm, i i even doubt the idea that we can even spawn gentlemen so i can't even send people to steal technology were i a betting man i would imagine that's the way it is yes yeah, so they've fallen back in towards mexico construction report windward islands cobbled roads i've got more sugar plantations built There's nothing immediate that can be done. Well, I'll upgrade this building in in uh, Panama and upgrade the craft workshops in Cuba. I'm not going to bother to upgrade the Cuban government building just yet. You're going to put Mexico under siege, but we're going to let them take a couple of turns of depletion. If they decide to attack us, then we will just finish them off. Newfoundland and also... Yeah, it's the militia unit, but also another Floyd recruit in the Northwest Atlantic. Continue the recruitment. You got a 12-pounder, which is nice. So you could do with some artillery, but you will get some once you've taken Mexico. Elsewhere, pretty sure we've now... That's, tech, that's officially surplus cash. Wonder if that. Fancy. I wonder if that uh, Quebec fleet still there. Oh, it is there. Oh, I can't be bothered to fight one one fifth rate. That's just not useful. But let's get up to. Ooh, this is actually the better region to better territory to raid. This line's got about. Not very many thousands of trade in it, whereas this one's got a lot. Well, they're granted to some of them. It's not we're we're, we're at peace. And apparently, we've still got. Uh, oh, the reason why this trade route is worth money to us, I would imagine, it's because we are capturing. What's to do with these raiding operations? So that's earning us money, I would guess. And Tigo get basic roads. Go on then. So how's our balances looking? I mean, we're still earning a lot less tax than it takes to keep all our stuff up together, so we are relying on our trade, which is fine for now. Uh, you can... This is worth 13 grand to the 13 colonies, so let's get you chaps aboard ship. Let's recruit a couple of race built... Actually, let's recruit a race built galleon and an actual galleon. That's nine grand. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, I think either in Mexico, well, it's probably going to be in Mexico, I'm going to build a another school to try and get some more of that sweet, sweet research. Because I think we're actually seeing some quite good outcomes. Yeah, the 13 colonies are going to try and raid one of my ports. Hanover's gone for peace, and I'm going to say no. I like the idea that my king just keeps getting... Because he, <laughs> he keeps getting... Uh, he's a four-star king, so as he's... Every turn, every turn, every faction is liking us a little bit more. So what have they sent? A fifth-rate dasher. Should probably try and take those ships... So let's get the race-built galleon out 
to the raid this raiding fleet and make sure they are still raiding. Good. Yeah, they're still taking taking damage. Uh, but let's take this fleet of fifths. I mean, well, realistically, I can, I, I can send three. Oh, I'll take them all. Keep the whole lot as a family. Take another fifth rate. Just to bring it into the fold. Okay, let's put everyone to the rear. This one shouldn't take quite so long because we've got fifth rates that are pretty fast. And the enemy ship is also a fifth rate. So just head straight for him. Jolly Rogers flying high. But yeah, until we get the Admiralty buildings, we're going to really struggle. And to be honest, it might not even be possible for us to recruit bigger ships. So we're going to have to forever spend... We're going to want to try and find, like, lone fourth rates and lone first rates and send just a swarm of smaller ships against them and uh, try and secure them for our own navy. I don't... I wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't build them. It's just not... It's just not something we can do. I would guess. Okay, so... Let's get here and ungroup. Get you along the right side, you along the left side. You to hold position ahead of the force. So right now I'm kind of right clicking somewhere at sea and then just rotating my mouse around. So you need to get ready to see when if they start firing their guns. Fire. So get my next broadside ready. You're gonna be firing chain shot head on. Full sail, matey boy. Look at that, it took a whole broadside and it did nothing, allegedly. Kaboom! Now that did something. The hero is going to start blasting chain shot into you. We're going to start taking out your sails. You're going to be blasting round shot. Same with you. Same with you now. Okay, you've almost got your... You're going to have to fire because Dash is getting away. You keep sailing dead ahead. Another broadside of chain shot. These fifth rates are fast. I'm just staggered that first broadside didn't do any damage. Your guns are ready on the right, it's on the starboard side, so you should. Still no luck. So we sail ahead. You're firing round shot now into the rear. There we go. Now you can start firing chain shot. 
You fire it well. Fire as she bears. Okay, you're gonna start fire. No, oh, you're okay actually. If you can knock out one of her masts, she will be. She'll surrender almost immediately. Dasher is going to waver. Formidable is going to successfully pivot and fire a broadside into her mast if she doesn't watch out. See if we can pop off just one gun to make him rout. <laughs> no, sadly not. There we go. So now this is not going to go well for Dasher. Still no mass dismounted, but at least you're surrendered. There we go. We can then bring Dasher into port and refit it to that to a, uh, a ship becoming of a pirate. Orders, Captain. Good, 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 good. You're still raiding. Everything's going pretty good. I mean, to be honest, I might just take over Understood. Mexico now. They've taken a turn of uh, a turn of um, depletion, so let's just push on to Mexico and take it take it into our empire. Uh, attacking the Native American factions, I'm really, really not comfortable with unless I have copious amounts of artillery fire. But Mexico is going to be an incredibly valuable region for us, thanks to the copious amounts of mines in the area. Okay, so we've got a militia front, right, front line to attack there. We're going to send some pirates around the flank. We're going to have a unit of a, a detachment of militia to push the right flank. Three militia defending the front line. General up here is here up and ready. So swarm, 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 attack pattern alpha. We can't afford to. We can't afford to hang about. There we go, everyone get up there. So this is their artillery line. Firelock Arm Citizenry, they've got a bunch of native troops that is currently MIA, but I'm afraid, I, th I believe, will show themselves. You men run on my right flank as well. Okay, let's send these two up this flank. Let's send you two straight in. Send you to hold off against that unit on the right. So let's give you some pirate support, buccaneer support. These buccaneers swarm onto the flank here because they're a bit on their own. You men charge the armed citizenry, you guys push up to try and secure the flank for certain. Let's bring my general over onto this flank. New men form line and hold out. Buccaneers charge the garrison line. So 
Yeah, the armed citizenry are going down, the militia are going down. I might get this unit of militia to support that attack while you men form up to engage the enemy infantry. These units are pushing past the engagement on the right. Just keep just keep running, just keep running. They've blown apart this um this uh temple building. Okay, the native bowmen auxiliary have shown themselves. Again, because it's raining, we've got annoying sound issues. Yeah, that unit's been wiped out. Get the buccaneers up here rapidly. You men advance. Advance into their gun line. Push the pirates up to the gap. The general's getting over here to try and cover so you've got the native warrior auxiliary here. You men focus on the gun batteries. There we go. So that's a armed citizenry unit lost. The garrison militia is going down because they're just being swarmed. Let's get these pirates up to engage with handguns. Form our line. Let's take all of our buccaneers and push them further around. So the Sakers are down. More to garrisons down. I mean, we've just... You men charge the artillery. There we go, the buccaneers have unleashed a pistol volley. Let's commit some of our buccaneers to begin isolating various units. You men charge the native warrior auxiliary and try and run a buccaneer unit run you that buccaneer unit into the general these buccaneers charge the native warrior auxiliary to avoid some backup let's begin just mass charging now because i don't think we can really afford to do too much sitting back at this point just keep charging in get the buccaneers to charge the general's bodyguard firelock arm citizenry charge my general into them my buccaneers are doing... Well, they're going to do a number on the General's Bodyguard. That's for darn sure. General's Bodyguard is destroyed. Charge the buccaneers into combat. It's looking like... We are going to be able to successfully surround them. My General's Bodyguard's taking a few hits, but they should knock out the Firelock Armed Citizenry. Good stuff. There we go. Just charge all the other militia units in. There we go, and we've pounced on top of the enemy formations. So these elite buccaneer units, their melee attack 16 is pretty darn good. But nice, that's the capture of Mexico, and we've got plenty of financial capital to reward Mexico. Actually, they really like us. So this is really good. So let's replenish the army. We're going to want artillery. Let's get our spy up towards Texas. Investigating target. Hmm. 23 turns till our next town is, uh, re is, is uh, research. I'm pretty sure it's a port, isn't it? Campeche. Yeah. Um, let's get rid of this craft workshop. And replace it with a school, because New Mexico, they love us. And they love us even more once we've repaired all our buildings. And upgraded them, because we've got some uh, advanced technologies they could make use of. So my research here is going to go on to explosive shells to get great arsenal. And try and get onto quicklime shells pretty rapidly. That would be ideal. So Veracruz, build a sloop to guard the port. New Mexico, get 
better roads and let's beeline for upgraded farms. So, sugar or coffee? Sugar or coffee first. Okay, much of a muchness. Let's just go for coffee because we've got less of it. The next will be cotton or tobacco and it looks like it will be cotton. There we go, we're up to 11,000. And actually, how's our tax income? Our tax income has jumped considerably thanks to the capture of Mexico. And hopefully it will jump even more once we get more uh, physiocracy technologies that will allow our towns to grow quicker. Because right now I'm burning through loads and loads of turns, which could be more efficiently utilised with uh, <laughs> through um, having more physio physiocracy technologies to allow us to uh, see our town wealth grow faster. Yeah, it's a couple of... See, this is the thing. It doesn't matter if our ports get raided because we have no trade. So you want to blockade my ports? Fine. We're not trading with anyone. Doesn't matter. What does matter is getting more of these ships back out to sea. So I might actually get you guys up here to cross over towards Iceland. So if you, if this entire army leaves Mexico, they're only just happy with us. So if you upgrade the school, plan for a form of seven, that's quite high. But still, we're going to build an ordnance factory and we're going to start getting some artillery. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to wait till I get 12 pounders. So in two turns, this force will be ready to sail over to Iceland. Seven turns till we get explosive shells, understandably. Let's recruit... Let's take get one of these ships. The fifth rate formidable. Actually, let's get Rodney. Mervyn Edwardson. You can try and summon up some galleons. It'll take a few turns, but that's okay. So you're going to go up to Texas. We're going to send a splinter force up to secure Santa Fe. But I really just want to hold that river crossing against the Pueblo nations, because if they come after us, we can then destroy them at the crossing. Again, you're going to try and raid one of my ports. Fine, doesn't matter. <laughs> Hanover, peace, never. They did, Württemberg's demanding p money for peace. No. They're demanding I pay them for peace. That's not going to happen. Yeah, you blockaded one of my ports. Good for you. Tigua has got a governor's palace. So you upgrade to the Weaver's Cottage. We've only got a handful of industrial te industrial buildings anyway. Well, I say handful. It might only just be the one. The one in Cuba and the one here in Mexico. Okay, let's upgrade your plantation and you. It was going to be cotton, wasn't it? It is. So again, it's not about the resources. It's about the contribution to region wealth. Yeah, so we see it does count. It does count in our favour. Yeah, I'm about to get a big chunk of clamour for a form, but that's okay. Let's upgrade this. So one more turn till you get Buccaneers, then we'll sail over and look at Iceland. Because right now, Europe is... Apart from the... The big thing, which is no more Austria and no more... F well, actually, is there France still? No, France is, France is gone. Okay. Uh, but apart from that, everything else is pretty ricky-tick. I might actually send a ship just to have a look at Florida. Savannah's unprotected. Charleston's weak. Hmm. Okay, I might... 
once you've taken Santa Fe, then I'll start to explore other opportunities to expand. But for now, we're okay with what we're doing. So you keep an eye on the Pueblo Nations. And then... Hmm. Take the Pueblo Nations, take Santa Fe. Well, we could... Well, to be honest, we probably will take the Pueblo Nations. Once I've got my artillery buildings built in New Spain, I would very much like to uh, boost the... Ha! <laughs> they're back! Okay, this time I'm going to water resolve. I'm not going to keep fighting those actions. There's the Quebec Navy. Well, they didn't go for us. Interesting. Port blockaded. Demerara. That's fine. Let's get you down to this force here. Lost a bunch of ships, but take the fifth into our service. Fundamentally, this navy doesn't hasn't really needed to do a whole lot of fighting against significant ships. Uh, why have you stopped building? Population too low. Interesting. Okay. So New Spain, you've got the new roads. One more turn till you get the next school. So one of these schools is probably going to focus on this tree. The military side, not so much. Buccaneers are ready to rock and roll. So let's get... Okay, what's the best way to do this? Probably use the... Actually, they're both the same. But let's use the race-built galleon to occupy the port. Get a galleon over there. The idea being to try and find whatever ship was the cheapest to occupy the port while you chaps sail across to Europe. Because you are going to get a sloop. You'll be in six turns, but that's okay. So one more turn to get the Ordnance Factory. Apart from that, everything's pretty good. Presentation sword for Mr. Van der Spiegel. That's the general that's just gone... Oh no, sorry, that's the, the admiral down here. My mistake. But apart from that, everything has been built. Pretty sure explosive shells is what gets us howitzers, which would be very important. Okay, let's hit end turn. And we're starting to build up quite the war chest. Especially considering at the start of the campaign we were very much, you know, ooh, do we... Have we got the money for this? Have we got the money for that? I am going to expand up and take New Spain. Hanover wants peace again. Again, I can't offer anything diplomatically. So they're just going to have to suck it up. <laughs> what did they double their offer? It was 1800 they wanted me to pay them for peace. Now it's 3600 No. The best bit is, what are you going to do about it, Württemberg? Fleet arrives. Elisco Castro. What? Did Denmark get territory here then? They did. They traded. it. Bad luck, Iroquois Confederacy. Although that's perfect, because there'll be no one here. <laughs> so we can sail into the port, march up, and just demand, because there's no one to defend it. <laughs> you got such a raw deal, Iroquois Confederacy. Yeah, keep the fisheries the same, because it looks like it's all the same units. You become a... I mean, I'm pretty darn sure we're probably not going to get any bonuses for uh, expanding our... Well, for, you know, military-wise, we're not going to get any more um, ship types. There you go. New Spain, you've upgraded... You've got a, a, a university now, which can focus on... Division of Labour. Again, it reduces happiness for the lower classes, but it's plus one happiness overall. Hmm. What do you give you utilitarianism just to try and get classical university? Oh no, wrong, wrong uh, university. It's going to take you a long time to get utilitarianism, but that's why we are upgrading you right now. Let's get some guns. 
let's take a detachment of pirates Ready and under the command of Howell Montalban to go up to New Mexico. I'm fairly sure you can't leave New Spain now. Well, the clamour for reform will go up once they've actually researched it, which will take a long time, and when they've built it. So I think you could... Well, you may as well stay in there. There's no immediate rush to get them out. Let's get a good set of guns, because <laughs> we're going to need it. Well, three might be... Four might be too many. Let's go for three. Yeah, so you're coming up north. You're going to pick up. Actually, get into the port. Maybe we didn't have a look, have much of a look actually about trade. Oh, that's a good amount of trade to raid are there. Nice. How far actually are we from the well, 17 or 30? We're over halfway. Because, yeah. Because the, the pirate roster is so limited, I think doing a world domination might be kind of boring. Because it's just going to be the same tactics over and over and over again. And at least with proper armies, you get a bit of a bit of pizzazz from different unit types and things like that. Okay, upgrade Martinique. Martinique and Antigua, they've actually started to become decently profitable regions. So you don't actually boost the tax income. None. Although, now we've got excess money, we may as well do this to widen our recruitment pool. So all these race-built galleons. Get them up here to join Michael Booth. Eleven thousand per turn. Our tax income is growing mightily. Yeah, I want to expand the army that's in Iceland to be a full stack with another stack to back them up before I land in England or Ireland, I should say, because otherwise we might get pasted by some reg formations of British regulars. Yeah, Morocco wants peace, where so they can swivel. So, large coffee plantation. So you can, yeah, Santa Fe won't be particularly well garrisoned. There you go, you've got a good complement of artillery. So you've still got, where's there? There's Rifleman Shanty Buccaneers. They're still available. They're still alive and kicking. Um, but now we've got artillery. No, I can't recruit it from there. I have to go... Okay, first of all, let's recruit you. Antigua. Recruit... Oh, that's gonna... Okay, that's not a good idea. Let's do it down here at Caracas. At least we can get them all in one turn. We can ship some artillery over to Iceland. Ooh, you've already got a gun. I forgot about that. Actually, I might upgrade you to a military governor's barracks so I could just do most of the recruiting in Europe itself. So let's go to here. You only need two plus a unit of militia. Let's take this force, Sans Brig, get them back raiding again. Here at Punda, let's recruit a galleon. Everything else is going pretty well. Basic steam pump would be a huge, huge thing to get, but we're not going to get that for a few turns yet. Although where's our next town going to be going to emerge? All of our towns are growing quite... all of our regions are growing quite well. The ones that have regions that can grow. Three turns to get explosive shells, which gets us howitzers. Then we want to build a great arsenal, research carcass shot, build a gunnery school, get quick climb. 
because that is going to be quite important for the wars against Britain. In four turns, we are going to build the governor's barracks in Iceland and continue growing. Because, yeah, I do want two stacks before we land. Otherwise, things could get quite tricky. So, fortunately, blockaded that particular port. No, Hanover, no peace for you. They've upped it again. 4,900. They must have the hell of a boxing punch ready to slam into my face to keep rejecting them. So, building port in... Oh, I forgot to uh, garrison this port. But yeah, while you're doing... While you're building that, just start building troops. Again, a bit of a bummer that they, they chose that particular port to raid, but I'm hoping next turn they'll raid somewhere else, and then that'll free up the uh, ship inside. So you continue to advance up towards Santa Fe. Still carrying on with our research. To be honest, you guys could also be researching to get troops over to Iceland. So let's take... Oh, you got th you've got to wait two more turns till the galleon's built. I want to send them all over as a fleet so I don't, do, I don't forget and do anything stupid. Yeah, the army I send into the Pueblo Nations. Yeah, you want peace. Everyone wants peace. Because all the colonies are right now of... They are targets. New Spain, your day is going to soon be done. And that force at New Andalusia can now break out. I mean, it's going to take slightly longer to get to Europe. Because I'm not going to sail them all the way to the north. I'm just going to get them to here and get them up to Europe. So it'll take them slightly longer to get to Europe, but that's okay. So you're recruiting. Well, everyone's recruiting. Some good stuff to trade, to raid there. Yeah, right now we're just burning through turns. And this is where having that growth per turn to town wealth is so big because when you're burning turns it just means your income absolutely balloons so your three units off being fully equipped so you i want i probably want a buccaneer and two militia then you're at full strength and can march towards villa de Be bexar beha in texas because this force what well, you're depleted so i'm presuming there's a finance problem You galleons have been built. This galleon's been recruited to join our main force that's protecting not our capital, weirdly, but it's our critical, it's our target. It's our, our, um, our criteria, our success criteria. Hey, Bartholomew the First, Quiremaster, plus one prestige, plus one happiness, nobility. Oh yeah, so I have a European desk now. So let's get... Okay, everyone's got various pluses and minuses, but let's just take Nathaniel Jorgensen, because at least he's honest with a mistress. So he's plus one management, plus one happiness for the nobility. And that probably means I can just... Zoop, increase my tax... My tech, increase my taxes on the nobility... The lowest public order is New Spain, anyway. Although, <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of punishing growth cut off there. Okay, let's not go mad. One more turn to Europe at Santa Fe. You're still growing. 
Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time to just scale up our army ready to land in Ireland and bring them under the pirate flag, then take Edinburgh, then take uh, London. That's going to be quite a significant attack. There's Mo the Mughal Empire again with a more with a more uh, competitive uh, army, but not navy. No Württemberg. So we've got explosive shells. So let's go to here. Just attack Mohinder sixth rate this time. They've reduced their option. I'm pretty sure that's our sloop from the port that got lost. It was indeed. Where to, Captain? So get you men aboard. You got it's replenish. Let's recruit another sloop to occupy the port. Our college in New Spain's been built, so you've just you've just researched exploding shells. So instead, you're going to go for four field crop rotation because you want towns to grow to unlock more technologies. And let's upgrade two great arsenal buildings. But I'm pretty sure. That means, well, here, when the military governor's encampment is built, A, it will speed up recruitment, and B, it means we'll get artillery over here as well for Henry Wall. But your army's at full strength, so can you leave Mexico? You can. But we're going to pick a unit of my, from my... I can't recruit a general at this time. What? Is it because, is it because you're full? Yeah, it is. Jacques Blauvelt. Oh, so we've got Blofeld, more or less. Actually, can you... You can't... Oh, no, you can't recruit houses till that's finished. Okay. So, Mr. Dampy, push on up to Texas. You, good sir, can build another army. Or start building another army. And you can advance up towards Santa Fe, who's here. Go oh God! Run away! <laughs> okay, so... Mr. Dampy, you're going to go up to New Mexico. Mr. Montalban, you're going to advance back down to my territory. <laughs> Should have already sent my spy up there, really. Fleet stride. Successful mission. Yeah, keeping an eye on them. Fighting sailor for my admiral here. Good news, everyone! Apparently, he gets uh, he gets reported on a lot. And flag lieutenant or lieutenant, nice. He's a pretty good general, pretty good admiral, really. Iceland's still growing. Okay, so now your fleet is ready. Let's take these buccaneers over. To St. John's. So now all of you realistically can just cross over to Europe. Meanwhile, in Europe, well, you're still one turn away. Okay. So you're one turn off your sloop. Good. Okay. To then turn. And let's see how things develop. I like having my ship placed uh, to the east of Trinidad and Tobago because it would appear that they sail in, hit my uh, zone of control, and then decide to leave it. I have to sail around it. We're terrifying and we're rich. God damn it, New Spain. You've been bottling troops up in, in New Spain. Okay, so the army that's gone up there now, they might actually hold ground. Well, not hold ground. They're going to get back down to Mexico itself and be and be boosted up to, to a full stack. So you can get two full stacks, one to attack Santa Fe, one to attack Texas, and then push on into 
the Americas. Louisiana would be a particularly nice capture, as would Louisiana. Fleet arrives. Good. So you men dump your troops across, dump your troops on the shore, then get back to raiding. Well, another fleet arrives to the south. Ooh, you might not reach it. Let's see if you can be undisturbed for your voyage. We, although we could... Yeah, let's boost you. I know it's land. That's why you've, you've got armies, haven't you? Okay, build the military governor's barracks and we can start to stack up some artillery. So it's five turns until that's built. Lots of good stuff. Upgrade Ant Antigua to the Royal Palace, as royal as pirates can be, I would imagine. And here in Mexico, you're con continuing to replenish. Okay, we're at sweet nine, uh, nine grand a turn now. So I'm expecting our commitments, our spending commitments, to increase quite significantly as we grow our armies. But at the same time, as we increase our spending power, that should really help. That should potentially more than offset it. Especially as these, when these people keep asking for peace. I don't want to give it to them, because I want to keep... I mean, Hanover, we can raid their stuff. Württemberg don't have a coast, so don't worry about that. Recruitment. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're doing a fantastic job when it comes to recruitment, because you're so big. You continue to do the old switcheroo. Well, to be honest, you could probably stand here, get troops from Mexico funneled up to support you. That might be a good idea. Anything. You might actually lose your army, Blofeld. And they might all march to Mr. Montalban. Successful mission. Yeah, you're still spying. So you men deposit your men, then get back to raiding. You men combine. So you need two artillery, so you're about to recruit a militia unit, so actually that would be about right. I might send a Recruit another sloop to start doing some reconnaissance of the British Isles. That's okay. Nothing immediate is coming on the horizon for research. Let us see. Oh, could you imagine trying to attack late game Ottoman Empire with just pirates? That would just be Eyeball gougingly difficult. I mean, it would just be a complete Soviet Union style swarming tactics. Ah, they finally found us. You men push up, you men get to here. Okay, let's just take all of these men and push them up here. There we go. That's a good recruitment. Okay, let's go have a look. Because if Ireland could be grabbed easily... Let's see if Glasgow's occupied. Glasgow, Glasgow isn't occupied, but Ireland is... Henri de Mosseau with a load of Irish volunteers. It's raid Glasgow. Edinburgh. Stuart Grant. Clansman, Scottish line, lots of artillery. Okay. We've not built Liverpool. Bristol is occupied. How is Wardsford? Wardsford is unoccupied. Good to know. So if that stays if that stays the way it is, we can drop a force here at Glasgow. 
when they get ejected, our, our, our zone of control should cover this crossing point here, which means it'll prevent them, for a time, crossing over to attack Ireland, while two of our stacks can attack Dublin itself. That would be quite a good idea. So that's one army done. I mean, I could be over, over-egging things quite significantly. Nathaniel Avery. Just keep recruiting. What are we to? 8,000. 8, yeah, you got to be wary, because we're going to start running out of cash. I'm not running out, but... Okay, utilitarianism's about to be researched, which means both of our... Uh, Oh, they're going to... Okay, this is the, must be the force from... This must be the force from Bristol. It's a fourth rate, the Essex the there. Didn't manage to kill any ships. Gave us valuable intelligence, though, of the enemy's dispositions. And it will be good to get troops landing in Dublin and begin fighting against the British. Yeah, the traditional peace offering from our typical foes. What about Württemberg? Eh, 4,200 this time. Don't you get it, Württemberg? You keep asking or demanding I give you peace, and you're not going to get it. Okay, let's upgrade both of these. 9 becomes 11. But you're still really happy with us. That's okay. Fleet destroyed again. Fleet's a very grandiose term for a sloop. But, you know, whatever gets you through the morning. So we've got our howitzers able to be recruited. So you men combine. Right, now I specifically want two howitzers from you. It's going to take a bit of time. Actually, I might just cancel all this recruitment, get the howitzers recruited first. Then... So I want some guns. I generally want three militia to my buccaneers, I think, roughly as a ratio. Yes, hey! They've pushed a force out yes. to meet us. Let's push into them and engage the uh, new Spanish army. The completely, you know, colonial-style force. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time or probably will soon to be the end of the new Spanish faction. Cheers, everyone.